you know, and the, you have the case and, and everything in the case, photo. and then clockwise. Wonders of Nature and Artifice, the Renaissance Quest for Knowledge. Art so, History 284. Yeah, it's an, also an IDS course. Um, we have two professors, Felicia Ells from Art History and Kate Etheridge from Biology. Uh, I'm Joanna Myers and I did the monkey skeleton. Um, I'm Marissa Mellon and I worked with the Mercury statue. Oh, oh, yeah, I'm Rose Pell and I worked with the reptilian skeletons. It was combining art and science and as an art history major I found it challenging to look into the sciences more than I have before. Um, I had a really good time working with my object because I found myself in special collections a lot. It was really challenging for me because I was combining like like what Joanna said about science and researching how the skeletons interacted in the cabinets of the Renaissance. I'm Lauren Paul. I'm Emily Francisco. Well, I was using some fossils from Professor Horizomi and I was studying their form. Uh, because uh, these are natural objects, but they're polished already, this is kind of a work of art. It's a combination of art and artifice because of the human act of cutting it and polishing it. Uh, and I took it a step further and I actually made a painting of one of this, which is my project. Um, so we have some ammonites, we have a, a, I believe a nautilus shell, and we have some fossils too. Yeah, we've got a really cool fossilized crab over here that's on the rock. Josh Porman, I'm a senior. The item's actually in the cabinet. It's the uh, Dutch map by William Blau on um, Asia. And I looked at the different uh, pictorial paraphernalia, um, specifically the ships in the ocean and the, um, the animals in Asia and um, argued that they were expressions of Dutch power. Uh, because in the 16th and 17th and 18th centuries, Dutch maps really were prominent throughout Europe as both items to collect and to use. So um, I argued that these uh, pictures in the map itself um, were used to express Dutch power to the European audiences they uh, were shown to. So Daniel Bernelli, I curated this item for the project. He is an anatomical model that the college used actually in the, in the 1890s. He's a really special model. He's very current with the late uh, 19th century. He has uh, actually a French model, so all of the inscriptions are in French. And a lot of the pieces are removable, like the anatomical models would be today. Oh, it's on an awful I mean, if you're having this way, which I feel like that's the way most people go, you can still see it when you like first. Let's get one of these handles. Mm -hmm. oh,